Yeah, you better you better get ready. Okay. Right, Mike, please do the honours. It's your birthday. Alright. Welcome to the Airshed Undecided Podcast with your conflict conflicted hosts, Mike and Sophie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right, and this is a special podcast. Yes, because we get to talk about what Mike really likes, aka wrestling. And boy, do I have lots of questions for him. Do you mind getting the questions up? Um, well, I can't do it right now. Um, I'll let you do it because I have some announcements to make. Oh yes. Um, firstly, uh, I have to bring up some very sad news that three of my YouTube channels are cancelled and finishing on Friday. Which ones? Um, SourceFed, SourceFed Nerd, and People Be Like. SourceFed is screwed? It's cancelled. Why? Um, Because they are currently run by Discovery Digital Networks, and they are restructuring. Oh, oh no. Restructuring is is always an ass. Yeah, so instead of um, them being a multi-channel network, they're decreasing the channel size to four channels only. Okay. Yeah, which means that the um, Discovery Digital Network's office in LA is going to cease to exist as of Friday. Will they still have the same content? There will be no content. No more content? Yeah. Ah, uh, shall we sing a song? No, no, it's, yeah, it's, it's just really sad, and I, and I know that there's nothing we can do anything about. Just, let's, let's just sing Abide by Me. No, 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 because, because, because even though your singing is so bad and we won't be able to have copyright issues, um, yeah, that's about it. But, um, in saying that, um, today is my birthday. How has your day been? Oh, it's been all right. It's been all right. Uh, okay, and so before we get started with other things, maybe I should do some corrections. Last week, I actually promised I'll tell you the contents of chocolate. So, white chocolate mm-hmm. has no cow cow, but it has cocoa butter. Milk chocolate is about 20, 20 to 30% cow cow, and dark is over 70%. Yeah. Well, so what is. So, what. How about the in betweeners, I wonder? Maybe there should be in between a chocolate. Uh, yeah. 30% cow cow? I think that's baking chocolate. Think so. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, and of course we have Mike's reactions. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, Sophie has got me some gifts. Um, it is a circular box. This is Happy Birthday Mike K from Princess Pickles in asterisk Magic Mike XXL. <laughs> There's no XXL. Just mm-hmm. Magic Mike. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, yeah. Okay. And this way up. This way up. Mike is having a hard time opening the box. Okay, what I have is a flash tie. Which is made of? Silk? Yes. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's genuine silk tie. It is from Jack's Polo. Well, no, no, no! Please don't read the label. It's um, it's a, it's a hilarious um Chinese rendition of Marco Polo. Um, I. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Okay, the glue was horrendous. I have a <laughs> contaminated head. <laughs> oh, that works better. <laughs> oh, I see what she's done now. <laughs> Anyway, I do have glue on me, so I will fix. Okay, I have made paper figurines from Yuri on Ice of the main couple. Um, unfortunately, Yuri Katsuki is broken. Yeah. As in the stand, his right arm, I believe, his body, and his head are all separate. Have all separated. And it comes with. Silica gel. <laughs> <laughs> to keep things dry. Yeah. Yes, well, I thought... Oh, uh, God. I've been... I've, 
I, I've taken so many attempts with the glue, but, but I have this sort of stick glue that you can get from the um, from the stationery shop. I'm, I don't think I'll ever buy that glue ever again for my paper craft. It's horrendous. Nothing ever sticks. It is, it is that a decapitated arm? It's just, it's just chopped off. Decapitated means chopped off head. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, capita as in head. That's why we say per head. Yeah. For things. Oh, crap. It's not sticking. I mean, it does better than, this, than the glue stick. This glue I have here. And, um, yes, well, it's your favourite anime, isn't it? Well, at the moment, yeah. Yes. Which is why I got you the paper figurines. Yeah. And I'm so sorry the glue failed and it basically collapsed everything. It's okay. Yes. Oh, well. It's a thought that counts, right? Of course. Yes. And besides, I think this glue is super effective. It's super effective. We have to just leave this out to dry, okay? Don't do anything drastic with it. Okay. That's what, which kind of makes you wonder if Victor's delicate is just as delicate as well. Yeah. Good. Mind you, both are delicate creep, both are delicate characters. I think this is a really, really apt metaphor. Yeah. The fact that they just fell apart. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe on season two on Yuri on Ice. <laughs> the paper figurine felt falling apart is like a, a metaphor for what the character is like. Oh yeah. Don't do anything. Ah! Don't do anything drastic with Yuri. He collapsed again. Yeah, he collapsed again. So put it somewhere else. We it can be stable. No, 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 no. We just I'm I'm just going to keep him. Stick him over there. No, no, no. Thing is, I'm just going to keep him on my hands until he would actually continue sticking on his stand. I'm just going to pat his head. <laughs> Don't pat my head. Yeah, I'm currently patting Sophie's head. Anyway, you can have a look at Victor. I think Victor's a little bit stronger. But yeah. You, you have done a surprisingly good job. Thank you. Stay, Yuri, stay. Oh, perfect. Okay. Don't collapse. Okay. Yes. So, let's see. Um, the de Well, do you want to look at the details of Victor? I mean, I have a bit more details than usual, but no, no, no. I guess that's not what podcast is about. Let's stop talking. This is not a Yuri on Life fan cast. Yeah. We're yeah. here to talk about wrestling. Okay. We're talking. Yes. Okay. Uh, but um, we have to talk about the other thing as well. What? Uh, what's in that white box? Oh yes. Continue on, continuing on with Mike's reactions, we have a vanilla cupcake from Eve's Pantry. It's four dollars fifty. It better be a good cupcake, otherwise it's not worth the money. You paid four fifty for a cupcake. Yes, I know I should not tell you the price of the gifts, but I thought this was rather important. Four dollars fifty for a cupcake. It better be good. Okay, I'll leave this till after the podcast because I don't want to stuff my face. No, no, no. Do stuff your face. No, don't stuff. I mean, do try this, but please. Now. This is called Mike's reactions. Okay. Okay, I'm bringing it out. It's got fancy as frosting. Actually, there's a bit of frosting on the box. I'll try some. It actually looks. Oh wow. The, the, the way that they've decorated it, it's very well done. Um, it seems that, oh, what is that called? It's sort of like those silver balls, but smaller. It's called glitter. Is it actual glitter? It's glitter. It's, uh, you know those silver balls. I mean, glitter is just anything that's sparkly and particle -y. You can even make glitter out of seaweed, so. Yeah, lush. Yeah, did you know the glitter from the lush balls made from seaweed? Good to know. Yeah, so that means you can actually eat your lush balls. Lush bath bombs, I mean. <laughs> it's... Come, on. Come on, take a bite. Reaction? What's the best way to describe this? It's like a, it's like a high class cream bun. <laughs> That's pretty much the way you can describe it. Because you've got the softness of the cream, and then you have the hardness of the vanilla cupcake. Yeah? Yeah. Do you like it? It's worth the I do, yeah. It's worth the $4.50? I'm not going to say it's worth the $4.50, but it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, it's like a very high-class, thick cream bun. Yeah, well, the $4.50 but probably came from the fact that it's probably all organic or something, rather. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. But it's, it's the East Pantry. They, they probably hand make their own stuff as well, so. Yeah. That's why it's so costly. Yeah. Yeah. Now. You said you won't stuff your face, but I can see that you really like this cupcake. 
Okay. It's worth the money then. Oh, Yay. Who I'll, wants 50 well spent? I'll, I'll let you introduce the topic of conversation. Okay. Well, Mike loves to talk about three things. <laughs> uh, wrestling, uh, rugby, and golf. So we're going to talk about wrestling today because out of those three topics, I have a morbid fascination for wrestling. Because I don't get how watching men, sweaty men, hurting each other in a very homoerotic way could ever be considered entertainment. Now, you, you have to consider that all of it is has some sort of sort of homoerotic connotation. Yes. Because, hey, rugby is just a whole bunch of big sweating men with short shorts playing around with their balls. Yes. And golf is pretty much hitting balls with a with a long shafted club and hitting it into a hole in as minimal strokes as possible. Freud. No. Freud. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. It's Freud, yeah. Yeah. But um yeah, I mean wrestling's probably the most homoerotic of the wall. Okay. Yuri has claps again. Damn you! <laughs> Please edit this out. I don't think they want. I don't think they want to hear the whole Yuri has claps again scene. Okay. Yeah. Just making sure. Yeah. So let's get started with the um, MMA. Okay. Otherwise known as mixed martial arts, but that's about that's about as much as I know about it. Yes. Oh my goodness! I have this wrong way around. Okay. <laughs> Come on, please, Yuri. I'll just, I'm just going to hold on to Yuri until he actually like can hold, stand up for himself. Okay. Which sounds a lot like the show. <laughs> 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 Too real, Sophie. Too real. Too real. Okay. Right. So, what is mixed martial arts? Mixed martial arts is oh my god. <laughs> it's not oh my god. But Yuri has clips again. This is not your day, is it, Sophie? <laughs> no, it's Mike's day. Okay. All of my luck has been transferred over to Mike. Okay. Mixed martial arts, it is... Uh, technically, it is a competitive sport mm. where men of mixed martial arts disciplines fight. This is different than wrestling as of um, things you could see on the WWE Network where there is no choreograph. Right. They're actually going to hurt the person. <laughs> What's the difference between MMA and boxing? <gasps> um, Damn you! The only difference is, is that you can use your legs. Okay. And you can use grappling moves. Boxing is arms only. And kickboxing? Kickboxing is just arms and legs. There is no wrestling wrestling component. Alright, so MMA is kickboxing, boxing, and wrestling combined together. Pretty much. And how about, are you allowed to put some actual kung fu in there? Yeah, well, that, that's, well, that's a certain style of kickboxing. Okay, everybody was kung fighting. Okay, never mind. Yeah. And why is it getting more popular these days? I mean, I've heard that boxing's on the way because of MMA. Yeah, it, it's basically a popularity thing because the bad part about boxing is it's only. You can only use your arms. Yeah. And basically, since we are humans, we are either very social creatures and we like seeing the crap getting beaten out of them. (laughs) They say that we're the mixture between a bottle and a chimp. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, it's pretty much just the way it is. Okay. Right, so we're not beating each other up, by the way. No. No, No, this is not that type of show. Right. And when do you think robots will be, become the more dominant fighters? I mean, you know, like robots boxing matches and things like that. Well, there was that Hugh Jackman movie. Yes, I was actually thinking of that Hugh Jackman film. Yeah. That's a bit too cliche for my taste, but anyway. Yeah, of, oh, of course, because one, it's Hugh Jackman, and two, it's Hugh Jackman. <laughs> um, I don't think there will be ever um, robots on human fighting in our lifetime. Robots against robots. Oh, no, it's meant robot versus human. Oh, yeah. No, it means robots versus robots. Yeah. Um, when they, they come up with the relevant technology 
yeah. for it for robot. I actually there was a um, series of um, contests where robots go against robots. Yeah, but it's not what you think of a robot is. It's, I think I saw it on YouTube. It was really strange. It just came out one day. Yeah. I mean, I mean uh, they have the humans controlling the robots. Yeah. Like they were... Um, it's like you were in a suit, and whatever you do, did in the suit, the robot did as well. It's a little bit like the um, motion casting, right? Yeah, but it's, um, yeah. it's like um, RC. Yeah, or... No, 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 it's more like Pacific Rim. Yeah, yeah, but um, the one I was talking about was RC... RC. Combi- RC um, robot, co- uh, robot compa- uh, combat, where they would actually, like, create, like, um, wield... Oh, those ones, though. I saw, I saw something else that's just weird. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Oh, no, no, oh, those ones, like the... Um, you get little robots smashing each other. Yeah. Yeah. All right, it's back to uni, May. How much are they? How much are the people paid? Um, well, well, they make. Well, it it, it depends on how big they are. Yeah. Um, and, and there is a development system that goes all the way to UFC, where most of the money is being made. How much are the prize? Was the prize money UFC? Um, it's usually in the low millions per fight. Low millions. Low as millions. in. As in, like, two million. For if you were in a main event of a UFC blah 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 event, yeah, I would think that they'll be they'll be two million if you win the fight. Yeah. And how many of those fights can you do per year? Um, I think it's five. Uh, no, six. I think. So you can make it. So if you go to all of them, you can get twelve million. Then you can get some advertising. Yeah, but um, usually um, people won't be competing at each fight no too stressful isn't it yeah too stressful and um i've actually did a little bit of um, research myself for this apparently the highest paying mma fighter was about five million dollars yeah yeah not that much mm. not yet anyway yeah you, you never know in the future yeah but um considering um ufc have done it really well in, in regards to their um Infrastructure, yeah. like you have UFC complexes mm. um, and stuff like that, because that five million you have to take into account your trainers. Yeah, and mm. do you have and do you each person have UFC stuff yourself? Oh, no, but well, that's that's one of the um, brands. Yeah, well, well, what she is referring to to is Muscle Farm products, because um, I do like my protein. Yes, and my pre workouts. Yeah. <laughs> so, how does one get into that? Uh, no, famous matches for the UFC. Famous matches. Um. Oh. There is a. Oh, there's a very gruesome one when where Andy uh, Anderson Silva yeah. um, broke his leg during a kick. Oh yes. It just rebound off him and it broke his leg. Um. I, I always enjoyed anything with Randy Couture in it. Yeah. Um, and George St. Pierre, because mm-hmm. they're, they're very technical wrestlers. Um, in, in a New Zealand context, you've got Mark Hunt. Yeah. Um, who lost. Mark Hunt. That is a very hard name to say without saying being rude. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Mark Hunt. Because he went up against. Brock Lesnar at UFC 200, mm-hmm. which he did lose, but then um, they found out that Brock Lesnar was positive for, stero- for steroid use. So Brock, who lost, yeah. was positive for steroid use? Yeah. Okay. So technically, um, one would think that Mark would have got the, the prize money. Yeah. And the person that Mark just lost against was the only person... Who has beaten both of them? Wow! Bo- both Mark and Brock. Right. Yeah. But I I I I forgot his name, but um, yeah. Right. So, how does one get into the UFC then? 
Well, you have to go through the development process. What's the development process? Um, well, you have to be a wrecking ball in your circuit. Um, and you'll just be upgraded from circuit to circuit. Oh, yes. And, and then UFC um, seems to be one of the final lines because there's, there's numerous amounts of um, paid... Um, contests. Yes. Because um, I know that um, Japan has a lot of them as well. And you just basically have to see who has a better contract and you sign accordingly. I see. And how many circuits are there? Uh, uh, rings. How many rings of hell? <laughs> what, 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 um, I, I think there's about three or four, three or four. big ones that I know of. Okay. Um, and, and, and those are the ones that have either some sort of pay-per-view or some sort of um, screening rights. You were screaming too loud, so you're collapsed from, yeah. the, from the sound of your voice. Yeah, by the beautiful sound of my voice. Right. We should probably get some up here. Yeah. Ugh. Victor as well. Yeah, Victor up there. Mm. Well, I sometimes wonder why they have such big heads. I mean, that is just so unworkable in the papercraft model. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know a few people yep. personally within the kickboxing circuit, and yeah. Um, Are they I, brain dead yet? No, no, no. Thank goodness. No. Um, the person that I'm referring to is a person from down home, and she's got a postgraduate in law from AU. Yeah. Um, well, I haven't seen her in a while, but she just finished. Uh, what she finished? She just finished the two Iron Man. Oh. Hmm. How much money? Well, well, she's not she's not on the paid yet, but um, yeah, she's trying to juggle it all because the, their family is pretty amazing. Wow. All the stuff they do, like um, her sister came second in the eighteen to twenty four range of the Kona Iron Man, which is basically the world championships for Iron Man. Uh, yeah, swimming three and a half k, biking one hundred and eighty, and running for forty two, and coming second. Uh, I know. This is so painful. <laughs> uh, so you have to go from circuit to circuit, basically. Yeah, but well, yeah, if you, if you want to get name recognition. Yeah. Yeah. And to be in the hall of fame. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting in the hall of fame. Yeah. Sorry, script. <laughs> uh, so what? So what makes a good fighter? Uh, I, I would think um, an extremely low heart rate. So you you would have a lot of concentration in, in, in a lot of high threat situations. Yes. Um, a lot of conditioning. Mhm. Mm so uh, and a very high pain tolerance. How about height or muscle mass or? Oh well, well. well well, that's the, the why I talked about conditioning. I see. Um, a very long reach does help. Yeah, so you have to be pretty tall? No, no, no. Um, well, you have to have... Your you, you, your reach can be longer than your height. I see. Yeah, it's it's, it's a little bit here or there. It's, it's about three to four inches difference. But that's the difference between a good fighter and a not-so-good fighter. Oh, I see. Yeah. It's the difference between getting punched and not getting punched. Yeah, exactly. But you can you can adjust accordingly. So, like, if you have a shorter reach than the other person, you would tend to be a very close combat. I see. Yeah. Oh, well, just to change your style according to your size. Yeah. Um, and just for reference, I have won a silver medal at the um, North Island Taekwondo Championships when I was a kid. Um, my sister came silver in the New Zealand Taekwondo Champs. Nice. Can you still fight people? Uh, I usually don't want to because I, we always got told in our family that discipline is important and if I hit somebody I'll probably kill them. <laughs> so I'm like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't fight for my life. Yeah, you just go... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, probably, probably just spite a few things. 
Yeah. 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 Just just use your mouth and your lawyerness. Yes. Yeah. As my voice. Yeah, and your voice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so famous New Zealand MMA fighters, apart from Mark Hunt. Um, well, you you have to think about. Uh, well, well, Mark Hunt's the main one at the moment. Um, and if we want to go back to the nineties, um, Ray Seffel was part of the K One. Yeah. Um, then other than that, there there is that many that I, that I know of, which is really disappointing, really, because. Um, you have to go overseas to try and compete, yeah. which is a shame. Well, because New Zealand is a small country, we're rather peaceful. Yeah. Yeah. MMA is not that big. Yeah. Yeah, so we've gone from the third happiness country to the eighth happiness country in the world now. Why did we go, why did we slide down? I don't know. Uh... Yeah, it's okay. Uh... Or did the other countries improve? Um, a little bit of both. Oh. What did we do? What? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's alright. Oh, well. Yeah. Mind you, it's pro- so closely contested, just by losing a point, you probably just slid down for five places. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so. Not so that big of a deal. And, um, common injuries you need to look out for? Um, well, well... Well, with those common injuries, you've got all of the main ones. You've got your ACL, which is your knee. Yeah. Um, your rotator cuff, which is your shoulder. Um, broken ribs. Um, not so much with the hip, um, hip joint, even though I've heard of some stories, and as well as the ankle joint. Um, bruised knuckles. So wherever your body bends, they're going to be destroyed. Yeah. Anywhere that the body bends will be destroyed. So like your um. Your fingers? Your neck? Um, well, the, the pretty strict when it comes to the neck injuries. Oh, I see. They usually try and stop that straight away. And how about your head? Head's not that bad, um, but um, long term there'll be some sort of trauma. Oh yes, yeah, so like rugby players? Yeah, okay. like concussions, stuff like that, so it's par for the course really. Oh why? Yeah. So the longer term, you might get dementia or something. Yeah. Yeah. But they're trying to reduce as much as possible with um, improvements in research and um, methods. Mm-hmm. I see. Yeah. And if an MMA fighter was stuck in an alleyway, how many thugs can they fight off? Um, there's a famous YouTube video where one person... Um, got rid of four relatively quickly four relatively quickly yeah yeah so they're legit yeah they're legit okay but um because of the whole martial arts and discipline basically you have to really take them off okay so trying to mug them yeah yeah so how many can they theoretically put off ah well i would think eight to ten eight to ten they're they're pretty good fighters then yeah. yeah. I wonder if there's any more cupcake cream. There is a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. This is intermission. It, it, it seems that Sophie's a little bit hungry. I do have nuts in my bag, but I need to save up my appetite for dinner and dessert. Yes. We have quite a few cakes lined up for you. Thanks. Yes. Cool. Anyway, um, what? Uh, which basically moves up onto... Okay, I do have a confession to make because I am a small Asian woman with absolutely no interest in sports. I initially thought that MMA and WWE was the same thing. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We, we need to stop right there. Um, MMA. Uh, the, the, I initially thought. Okay, um, the difference between MMA and WWE, in a nutshell, is WWE is plainly wrestling orientated. Yeah. There is a little bit of punching here and there, but it is mostly choreographed. Yeah. MMA is, there is no choreographed. Fight for your life. Pretty much. Yes. So think of it this way. It's like the difference between keeping up with the Kardashians, which is WWE, and uh, your family in real life, which is MMA. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So as you know, things in the keeping up with the Kardashians are choreographed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can contact us on the... Uh, no, no, you you do the ending. Fine. 
You can email contact us on asyoundecidedpodcast at gmail.com or at AYU Podcast on Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook. And um, we're also on YouTube, by the way, because we're going to delete some of the episodes soon. This is what happens when you can't afford to pay for services. Yes, and you can contact me on um, the Marnus, T H E M A R N U S. And I'm Sophie at. No, I'm at Sophie9709 on most platforms apart from Instagram. <gasps> I really need to talk to that other Sophie. I'll need to, I need to pay I need to pay her to give me that um, username back. Yeah. Well, maybe I won't. I'm not a big. I, I've never Instagrammed. Should I Instagram? No. Okay, in which case I should not spoil that. Okay. Please. Okay, please not confuse Russian Sophie with me. <laughs> Have a good week, guys. Stay safe. And, you know, wish him like a happy birthday. Please. Yeah. He only had 30 people wish him a happy birthday. A few hundred more will be fine. Just a few hundred more. Just a few hundred more. (laughs)